Want massive forearms, brachialis, and a bigger bicep to go with it? Traditional dumbbell curls primarily work the biceps and the forearms to a lesser degree. Hammer curls, or dumbbell curls performed with the palms turned in, are traditionally an exercise used to target the muscle that sits beneath the biceps, the brachialis. It's an excellent movement for arm development as a bigger brachialis actually creates more space between the biceps and triceps, leading to a bigger, fuller arm development as a whole. But if you want to take the traditional hammer curl a step further and get even more forearm development out of this exercise, you'll want to perform this movement with a thumbless grip by moving the thumb on the outside of the dumbbell, the same side as your knuckles. You'll now be forced to grip harder on the dumbbell creating more tension and mind muscle connection to the forearms and grip. And every rep, you wanna make sure to squeeze the handles as hard as you possibly can, even more so at the top of the movement. And even if you think you're resting at the bottom of each rep, think again. On a traditional hammer curl, many will argue you do not wanna pause at the bottom between reps when alternating arms. But on this movement, by alternating each arm when you curl, you're actually extending the set length, forcing the forearms to grip the weights even longer each set. Every single rep, as your grip fatigues, the forearm tension and mind muscle connection increases. And if your goal is not just massive biceps, but big forearms as well, you might want to incorporate this variation into your arm routine. But don't be confused, however. This movement still hits the biceps and brachialis hard, but it's not a bicep specific movement, but actually a forearm mass building variation to a hammer curl. While more isolated forearm movements like wrist curls are great to strictly target the forearms without the assistance of the biceps and triceps, you're ultimately limited to the load that you can handle on these movements. And something like a hammer curl variation can easily be progressively overloaded over time. Although a curl is still an isolation exercise as only one joint is being worked, when comparing a hammer curl to a wrist curl, a hammer curl variation is very much like a bigger, larger compound lift for the forearms and it should not be overlooked. And if you want the exact programs that I recommend to build more muscle using proven old school bodybuilding methods, all my links are down below.